Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the ceremonial procession and remain standing for the national anthem. Thank you. Please be seated. Guest of Honour, Mr. Cheong Chi Hu, Chief Executive Officer, DSO National Laboratories. Mr. Nagaraj Sivaram, Member, Board of Trustees, SIT. Professor Chua Ki Chiang, President, SIT. Ms. Rachel Sanderson, Deputy Vice-Chancellor, External Engagement, and Vice-Principal, External Relations, University of Glasgow. Professor Dame Muffy Calder, Vice-Principal and Head of College of Science and Engineering, University of Glasgow. Senior Management and Representatives from Singapore Institute of Technology and University of Glasgow. Donors, Industry Partners, Distinguished Guests, Graduates, Ladies and Gentlemen. Welcome to Graduation 2023. 
Today, we celebrate the accomplishments of our graduates. Our guest of honour this morning is Mr. Cheong Chi Hu, Chief Executive Officer, DSO National Laboratories. Mr. Cheong will now deliver the graduation address. Mr. Cheong, please. Mr. Nagaraj Sivaram, Member, Board of Trustee, SIT, Professor Choi Chi Chiang, President, SIT, Ms. Rachel Sanderson, Deputy Vice Chancellor, External Engagement and Vice Principal, External Relations, University of Glasgow, Professor Dime Murphy Calder, Vice Principal and Head of College of Science and Engineering, University of Glasgow. Parents, graduates, ladies and gentlemen, a very good morning to everyone. It is my pleasure today to celebrate with the graduating class of 2023. Congratulations on your achievements. Your graduation journey had a difficult start due to COVID-19 restrictions in place at that time. Nevertheless, you adapted to the conditions, persevered and succeeded. You have shown great resilience and have done yourself and your loved one proud in overcoming these challenges and completing your studies. So well done, everyone. Your graduation today marks a new beginning as you step into the working world. And while new beginnings may be fret with uncertainties, I'm confident that your time at SIT has equipped you with the necessary technical know-how and human skills to be successful and make a difference to society. Indeed, every one of you will have applied your engineering knowledge to solve real-world challenges, even during the course of your studies, such as during your Integrated Work Study Program, or IWSP, and Capstone Projects at DSO. I have first-hand experience of the excellent skill sets possessed by SIT alumni and SIT students under the IWSP program. They have performed well in DSO, working in fields such as robotics and cybersecurity. In fact, we have been so impressed with some SIT students that we have awarded them DSO scholarships. So as you step into the working world, you will continue to have ample opportunities to put your skills and education to good use. The field of science, technology, engineering and mathematics, or STEM in short, has grown in importance. Locally, Singapore has been making significant investments in STEM with the Singapore government committed to invest $25 billion in research, innovation and enterprise, or RIE, from 2021 to 2025. Globally, there have been much attention placed on fields such as climate technology, artificial intelligence or AI, advanced materials and smart building, all of which have seen rapid development in recent years. With your analytical skills and training in engineering, you are in a privileged position to chart your future in STEM careers. I encourage you to seize this opportunity and contribute to Singapore and the world meaningfully with your knowledge. However, this privileged position will not last forever. While your degree has given you a strong foundation, the rapid, change, the rapid pace of change means that what you have learned will become obsolete over time if you cannot, cannot keep pace. One should not have the view that learning ends upon graduation. Learning never stops, even after decades in the workforce. Taking myself as an example, since my graduation 30 years ago, I've taken numerous roles from designing and building radar systems 
to program management and R&D master planning and execution. Throughout all these roles, I was constantly learning, be it learning the technicalities of radar systems or learning how to lead teams and manage stakeholders. Even today, as CEO, I'm still learning, reading widely to stay up to date with the latest research and trends. So I urge you to embrace lifelong learning. Always be prepared to learn, unlearn and relearn to seek out opportunities to expand and deepen your know-how, even as you progress in your career. Knowledge is power, so never stop growing your power. Even as we grow as individuals, it is hard, if not impossible, for any one person to have all the expertise required to tackle difficult challenges. We will therefore need to co collaborate with others and work together as a collective to leverage all our strengths to st and to develop innovative solutions. Over the course of your, of your studies in SIT, you have already gained some experience working in interdisciplinary teams. Take, for example, Alexander Kua. Where are you? Who today graduates with a Bachelor in Mechanical Engineering. For, during his capstone project, Alexander worked with experts from Dyson Mechanical Design Team and Prototyping Team leveraging their diverse skills to design a machine to test the wear and tear of buttons in products. Alexander has since joined Dyson as a graduate design engineer. So congratulations, Alexander. <laughs> as Alexander has shown, collaborating with those who have different skills from us is key to successful innovations. So stay open to new ideas and embrace different perspectives. Do not be afraid to work across disciplines. Avoid looking at silos, uh, issues in silos and learn to connect the dots across fields to come up with innovative, well-rounded solutions to difficult challenges. Most fundamentally, I encourage you to do something that you personally find purposeful and that you have passion for. Because if you are doing something that you, that you are passionate in, you will naturally put in extra effort and you will excel in it. A, that is the reason why I joined DSO after graduation, because I wanted to be part of an organisation that delivers secret aid solutions to safeguard Singapore's security and keep Singaporeans safe. It is a purposeful job that resonates with me, something which I am very passionate about. One of our graduates today, Venus Tan. Where are you? Venus. It's a good example of someone driven by purpose and passion. Her dream is to positively impact living environments with a sustainable, technology-driven approach. With that in mind, she pursued civil engineering at SIT. Venus excelled in her degree program. She was on the provost list twice, won three book prizes, and was also a student mentor. Venus' excellence led to her being awarded the LTA Mittum Study Award, where she is now continuing her passion by working on real engineering at LTA's track and alignment department. So well done, Venus. I strongly encourage all of you to infuse passion and meaning into your work. Only then, only then, can you continue to give your best throughout your career. In closing, your education at SIT has laid a strong foundation that will allow you to chart your own future and make a difference to society. Never stop learning and be open 
to collaborating with others from different fields. Most importantly, find purpose in what you do. I wish you success and happiness in your career and congratulations once again to all of you, the graduating class of 2023. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chung. Mr. Nagaraj Sivaram, Member, Board of Trustees, SIT, and Professor Dave Murphy Crowder, Vice Principal and Head of College of Science and Engineering, University of Glasgow, will now present the prizes and certificates to the graduates. Mr. Sivaram and Professor Dave Murphy Crowder, please. May I present the graduates of whom the following degrees have earlier been conferred. Bachelor of Engineering in Aerospace Engineering. Abendigo Tan Chi Wing. Ahmad Asman bin Ibrahim. <laughs> Ahmad Ikritwan Khalif bin Ahmad Khalil. Akash Singh Dillon, son of Jasper Singh. Andrew Saswan. Andy Fong Yu Kwan at Andy Fong. <laughs> Ashley Tiana Speckerman. <laughs> Benjamin Abisit Ananta. Kelvin Chun Kai Hien. <laughs> Chua Jun Wei Nicholas. Hua Zhu Hao Alistair. Daniel Amir Tabunan bin Lonan Tabunan. Jubais bin Fauzi Bafana. Elsie <laughs> Leong Kai Ling. <laughs> Gabriel and Angelica Su. Gan Kit Kang Isaac. Isaac 
Gregory Chu Tongxian. Henry Chao Jiong Han. Hu Yue Hua. James Benjamin Crunis Ross. Jordan Lee Yong Yue, Joshua Fu Yong Chen, Kenneth Go Boon Kiet. Kenny Ng Peng Shen. Leong Su Han Yujin. Lim Li Meng Derek. Lim Wen Chong, Lo Chi Jin Chi T K G G, Lo Ray Jin. Meldrin James Fabricus in our show. <laughs> Mok Ming Kit Kenneth. <laughs> Muhammad Hakim bin Faturaman. Muhammad Shifal Mubarak bin Rosman. <laughs> Ng Chung Yi Larry. <laughs> Ng Shen Fu. P. Pravin S. Kishan Samuel Teng Kai Wen Sarah Jean Eileen Hewson. (Applause) 
Shemin Gan Singje. Sim Ching Lim Silin. Tan Chun Ta. Tang Yong Yu. Day Yi Shu. Tam Xiao Ching. Vanessa no Lo Ming Hui Water Wong Xiao Shen. Wilson E. Man Jing. Xu Jun Hui. Yap Hong Chao. Bachelor of Engineering with Honours in Civil Engineering. Recipient of the Professor Wu Tao Chen Outstanding Engineering Student Award and the Singapore Concrete Institute Book Prize, Tan Hui Sim, Venus. Recipient of the Kim Lee Consortium Best Final Year Student Award in Civil Engineering, Lin Wei Heng Nicholas. <laughs> Recipient of the Sam Wall Corporation Outstanding Student Award in Civil Engineering, Quek Ming Hao. Recipient of the Association of Consulting Engineers Singapore Book Press in Civil Engineering Practices, Ong Pei Xuan. <laughs> Asik Ahmad. Amas Tan Yu Jing. Amiru Afid Bin Rosli. Amos Bian Chi Shen.
Asad Rusti bin Shaharum. Ong Yat Mo Ao Zi Xiang Ai Yat Mong Karyon Ivy Paula Dennis <laughs> Catalina Kathleen Ko Jing Yi <laughs> Chia Ming Zhe Chan Jia Jing Cham Yen Chi Demi Jing Zhi Qi Emily Chua Sing Yi Sharer Diyal Ashraf bin Ramad Diren Yong Diren Dinesh Ryan James Don Hatay Sona E. E. Kit Fu Yok Hao Go Chi Yap Ho Sing Run Ho Zi Hui Darren Huang Fei Li Jeremiah Benjamin J J 
Jeremy Ko Jia Yuan. Kelvin Heng E. Kwang. Kevin Tan Ming Jie. Kelvin Tan Wen Yun. Kairu Baria Binti Haru Anwar. Lee Chun Lai. Lim Chun Jie. Lim Yi Lo Yi Ying Lo Wo Chin Mason Do Yang Zhi. Mitchell Go. Muhammad Iskandar Zufika bin Muhammad Roslan. <laughs> Muhammad Aidi bin Muhammad Dia. Muhammad Suhai bin Abdul Rahim. Muhammad Fatullah bin Abdul Rahman. Muhammad Haikal bin Nordin. Muhammad Iqbal bin Abdul Latif. Muhammad Irfan bin Nordin. Muhammad Rasul bin Muhammad Noor. <laughs> Muhammad Sharifuddin bin Kamis. <laughs> Neo Chun Hui.
응진저恩天之马克思，恩心宁。恩永惠，恩正邦，努纳迪拉，杰斯，呃。Binti Jasmine, Nurada Binti Atul Rahim, Nur Sabrina Binti Mohayat. Nuriyanan binti Haman Shah. Nuriwani Arina Adini binti Ghazali. Ong Kai Yi. On Yu Xian, We Shu Ting, P.S. Ravin. Ho Wei Ming, Pradeep Nishat, son of Papakat, Kwek Teck Ming Stanley. Rachel Teo Ming Yi Randa Ong Jian Wen Raymond Lau Wai Kit Regina Lee Bei Wen, Ryan Lee Chi Chuan,
Sarah Aisha Binti Shaifuddin. Sean Yo Wen Jie. Shen Yen Fang. Sherman Chi Jun Wai. Sherman Ong Ken Boon. Siu Chen Man Niko. So Jia Yi Jerry. Shou Zhen Hao. San Wen Yong. Susie Lim Siu Chi. Tan Ming Hui Vernon. Tan Yi Xuan. Dei Rui Ying. Dei Su Jing. Ting Ping Kiet. Do Hai Tong. Vincent De Kim Hong. Wong Jun Wei Daniel. Wu Jun Le Jeremiah. Wu Yun Huang. Yong Yi Hui. Yusuf Sarah Banu.
Bachelor of Engineering in Mechanical Engineering. Recipient of the SIT Capital Gold Medal and the Association of Consulting Engineers Singapore Book Prize in Professional Engineering Practice, Nuru Nazira Binti Hassan. Adrian Liao. Ahmad Najib bin Rahudin. <laughs> Alexander Kwa Wei. <laughs> An Han Chuan. An Zi Wei. And Kuanano So Joseph St. Louis. Augustine Chang Fu Wa <laughs> Ong Chang Ming <laughs> Ao Zi Yi Melvin Branch Richard Ao Xin Yuan <laughs> Brandon Lau Yi Hun <laughs> Chen Jian Yao Ching Yong Shen Ching Jia Jin Chong Ming Long Chao Sing Rong Darren's <laughs> Chua Chen Yi Ryan <laughs> Chua Chong Hien Dion Chua DJ Nicholas Claire Chia Hui Shi Claire Chua Kai Tong
Daniel Tanka Ho. Darius Kiwit Joseph. <laughs> Derek Matthew Okempo Anya. <laughs> Dylan Wong Yi Jie. Sun Yang <laughs> Esther Tan Mei Jin <laughs> Eugene Tan Yao Xian F. Muhammad James Marsby. <laughs> Fang Zi Chiu. <laughs> Fu Fang Wei. Go Yu Xuan, I serve. Gordon Lim Su Jin. Ho Wan Wan. Aring Go Sing Sing Lin, Isa Asli Bin Maslan, James Ong Jin Kiet. Jeremy Chan Jiaming. <laughs> Kishan Sang of Majibaran. Majib <laughs> Karudin bin Iskandar Karani. <laughs> Kumairam Aisha bin Baria bin Tiar. Ko Chan Shen. Ko Peng Hin.
Michael Yi Xuan. Ko Chen Xiang. Lan Jian Shou. Li Jian Yong. Li Wei Chuan Hendrick. Li Wenjun. Li Yixiong. Li Yixiang. Lake Jiayu. Leong Hong Wei, Savior. Liao Xuezi, Junis. Lim Chung Hong, Jeremy. Lim Chung Xiang. Lim Hong Chi. Lim Xian Shen. Lim Chen Yuan. Lim Si Le. Liu Gao Wei. Luo Jun Liang. Luo Wen Chong. Lo Yi Xuan. Marcus Steele Wen Hao. Melvin Chia Wai Chong. Muhammad Farouk bin Muhammad Suhaimi. Yeah. 
Mohan, son of Ramamuti. Muhammad Arif Ashraf bin Ahmad. <laughs> Muhammad Fasli bin Sapari. Muhammad Faiz bin Faini. <laughs> Muhammad Fahan bin Abdul Wahab. <laughs> Muhammad Fidal bin Asmi. Muhammad Fidal bin Ishmael. <laughs> Muhammad Hazid bin Rosaini. Muhammad Huzaifat bin Hamin. <laughs> Muhammad Naufa bin Adu Amin. <laughs> Muhammad Nosakil bin Muhammad Safi. Mohan Nu Farihan bin Muhammad Zaining. <laughs> Muhammad Sahiran bin Samsudin. Muhammad Shairu Pisa bin Sohat Sulaiman. <laughs> Muhammad Sufata bin uh, Muhammad Sirkasli. Nasrul Haswan bin Sumano. <laughs> Nyokeju Ekan Angus. <laughs> Nu Ali Amira Binti Rosli. Nu Sabrina Pinti Shanfula. <laughs> Odilia Lim Yi Shen. <laughs> Pei Chung Wei. Ramasami, son of Subramanyam. (laughs) 
Ren Yu Yang. Ryan Hataputra bin Adu Rahman. Xia Ji Yang Don. Xia Zi Leong. Xi Jing Qi. Shannon Yat Wei Chen. Sim Wei Yen. Dan Hui Shan Joanne. Dan Wei Jie. Dan Yong Chang. Dan Zi Wei Joshua. Dei Wei Liang Donovan. Di Chung Wei. Deng Hong Sun. Dem King Yong. Tong Fu Lin. Tian Chi Ping Aloysius. Chong Tick Wong Mei Jun Willie Go Jia Wei Bravo Chong. This concludes the presentation of graduates. Thank you, Mr. Sivaram and Professor Dan Murphy Cordo.
Ladies and gentlemen, the awards presented today have all been made possible through the generosity of our donors. To our donors, thank you for your thoughtful philanthropy. Your support has encouraged and inspired our students and graduates to continue to seek excellence wherever they go. The valedictorian for this ceremony is Ms. Nurul Nazira Binti Hassan. <laughs> Nurul Nazira will now deliver the valedictorian speech. Distinguished guests of honour, Mr. Cheong Chi Hu, Chief Executive Officer, DSO National Laboratories, Mr. Nagaraj Sivaram, Member of the SIT Board of Trustees, Professor Chua Ki Chang, SIT President, Ms. Rachel Sanderson, Deputy Vice Chancellor, External Engagement and Vice Principal, External Relations, University of Glasgow, Professor Dave Murphy Calder, Vice Principal and Head of College of Science and Engineering, University of Glasgow, Senior Management, Faculty Members, Cherished Families and Friends, and my fellow graduates. Good morning. <laughs> my name is Nazira Hassan from the Mechanical Engineering Degree Program. And I'm deeply honoured to stand before you today as a valedictorian. <laughs> Three years ago, <laughs> we embarked on this remarkable journey together. Who knew it would be a mix of laughter, late night cramming, and the occasional existential crisis? We have truly become a cohort bonded by our shared experiences, a group of individuals who have weathered the storms and reveled in the sunshine together. Our journey began just as the world was plunged into uncertainty. The pandemic forced us into the realm of online learning, a world where Zoom fatigue and Wi-Fi issues were our constant companions. But it was during this time that we showcased our resilience, adapted to the virtual classroom, and supported one another through those challenging moments. The immense amount of project work also pushed us far beyond our comfort zones. Late night discussions, debugging code, and countless design iterations became our daily rituals. Tutorial rooms, coffee, and Google became our best friends. But in those moments of frustration, we also found the satisfaction of seeing our hard work come to fruition. For instance, the Toy Automata project, designing a bridge, or even an AI algorithm. These projects were the crucible where our skills were forged and our friendships strengthened. Transitioning from school to the industry was also not a small feat. Our integrated work-study program provided a glimpse into the real world where theory met practice. It was a bittersweet farewell to the comfort of our lecture halls and the company of our friends, but it marked the beginning of our journey as engineers. Amidst all these hardships, there were heartwarming moments that define our time together. Our overseas immersion program at the University of Glasgow wasn't just about academics. It was about sharing unforgettable moments in a foreign land. We saw the fluffiest of cows, had fish and chips, indulged in churros, reveled in the beauty of the countryside and watched cars in the garage. Living under one roof in dormitories also allowed us to strengthen our bonds as we shared late night dinners and stories heard through the grapevine. Our group project meetings filled with jokes, teasers and debates became the highlight of our academic lives. These moments remind us that learning is not just about textbooks and equations, but also about the friendships we forge and the memories we create. As we stand on the cusp of a new beginning, let us remember the lessons we've learned. We are a cohort that has faced adversity head on. Our education has equipped us with the tools to navigate the challenges that lie ahead. We may be graduating today, but our journey continues. Let us take the knowledge we've gained and the resilience we've developed to carve out our paths while not forgetting the people who've been with us through thick and thin. First and foremost, to our parents and loved ones who have been our unwavering pillars of support. You believed in us when we doubted ourselves and your sacrifices have brought us to this day. To our friends, you've been our lifelines throughout this adventure. Personally for me, special mention to Mr. Lim Cheng Yen, Mr. Lim Sian Sheng, Mr. Cheng Wen Chie, Ms. Fiona Choi, Mr. Iqbal, my friends in Ning Research, and Dr. Keegan Chi. Our professors, thank you for your guidance and mentorship. You've equipped us with the wisdom and foundation to enter the professional world. Thank you also to our program leads, such as Professor Stephen and our administrator, Ms. Angela, for their tireless efforts in ensuring our smooth academic journey. Thank you. Sincerely, we will not be here today if not for all of you. In closing, I wish to leave you with this thought. The future is indeed uncertain, but it is uniquely ours to mold. Embrace your mistakes, for they are the stepping stones to personal growth and clarity. There's no rush, and there's no competition in this journey. 
We have the privilege of shaping our destinies. So let's continue to explore, learn, and fearlessly push boundaries. The world is our oyster. It won't be a smooth ride, but I have complete faith that each one of us can overcome the challenges that lie ahead. Today marks not an end, but a remarkable beginning. Thank you and congratulations to the class of 2023. The charge to the graduates is given by Professor Dame Muffy Calder, Vice Principal and Head of College of Science and Engineering, University of Glasgow. Professor Dame Muffy Calder, please. Graduates, distinguished guests and friends, let me take this opportunity to welcome you again to this very special day. A graduation is a special and powerful occasion. It's the culmination of years of study, of dedication and hard work. It's a day full of celebration and joy. On a personal level, let me say it is just a delight to be here to celebrate your achievements. I know these past few years have not been easy, and I am sorry for the circumstances which meant that you missed out on many in-person experiences during the pandemic, but we did hear that you found other ways to make connections. And despite all these challenges, and the challenges of COVID in particular, you have made it here. For more than a decade now, our partnership with Singapore Institute of Technology has seen over two and a half thousand graduates take the step you have just taken. But very few achieved what they did while meeting the unprecedented challenges faced by you. Graduating from the University of Glasgow and SIT is an accomplishment anyone should be proud of. But to do so while adapting to new ways of learning and working together whilst dealing with the stresses, anxieties, and perhaps feelings of isolation that so many of us has felt over the past few years, this has been truly inspiring to see. So I am incredibly proud of your achievements, of the determination, the resolve, and the strength of character each and every one of you has demonstrated. And I know that your families, your friends and your loved ones gathered here today are so proud of what you have achieved. So let me invite them to join me in congratulating you, our graduates, with one last well-deserved round of applause. <clears throat> While today is about you, our graduates, and your achievements, let me ask you, our graduates, to take a moment to think about the people who have helped you to get to this point. Whether family or friends, carers, school teachers, lecturers, tutors, or anyone else, whether they are here today or not, please join me in thanking them for their help and support of the years for, okay, now the last round of applause. <laughs> And having acknowledged the graduates and their supporters, I also want to pay tribute to my colleagues. Our graduates would not be sitting here today if it were not for the commitment, the adaptability, and the sheer hard work of each and every one of my colleagues. Thank you. In Glasgow, we have a phrase, People make Glasgow. In my experience, the people you meet here at the University of Glasgow and SIT embody everything about this phrase. As well as being talented, inspiring individuals, our students and colleagues are welcoming and they are compassionate. 
In today's climate, we should be proud to say our community cares for one another and we have a truly international outlook. We are proud of our reputation as an inclusive, welcoming and civic institution existing for the benefit of citizens across the world. Whilst you close this chapter on this period of your life, you are embarking on a new season. Indeed, some of you will have already gone on to begin your careers, to move to a new place, or may even have taken this period of time to re reflect upon what you want to do and where you want to go. There will be challenges. But you have so conclusively demonstrated that you can rise to the challenge and you can succeed. We have many pressing global societal challenges, from renewable energy, to communications infrastructure, to the new digital economies and the role of automation and AI. Tackling climate change, gender equality and access to education, eradicating epidemic disease, and finally, simply improving the quality of life <clears throat> through understanding what it is to be human. As a graduate of SIT and the University of Glasgow, endowed with knowledge and expertise and critical thinking skills, you have a responsibility to make your contribution. But as a graduate of both universities, you are very well equipped. We talk of Glasgow as being the world-changing university and SIT as being a leader in applied learning. So you have the capabilities to be world changers and leaders of your generation. Finally, as you leave us, I hope that you will stay in touch. We want you to tell us about your achievements and we hope you come back to see us. I hope you will hold the University of Glasgow and SIT in your thoughts as you embark on your future careers. You will always remain a part of our community. Your sto story is woven into the fabric of our great institutions. Graduates, once again, congratulations. You are world changers. Thank you very much. Thank you, Professor Dame Murphy Calder. Dear graduates, as we come to the end of today's ceremony, we extend our congratulations to you and warmly welcome you to the SIT and University of Glasgow alumni family. Once a citizen, always a citizen. Congratulations, Class of 2023. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the national anthem and ceremonial recession.